Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, here we are, Sarana. This boat should take you across to your home. Come on, let's go, Cyrus, let's go. Um, this is the part where we usually get in the boat. You with me? I'm actually ahead of you. Let's go. All right, that was a pleasant journey. Pleasant enough, anyway. Castle Volkaha. I must say, I've never heard of it before. No. No, I... So much darkness. I... Uh. Let's get indoors. Or in a uh. cave. Anywhere, just out of this. You don't feel it. There's so much evil emanating from this castle. It's almost enough to knock me off my feet. Cyrus, make sure you're with me. I could swear that I hear a sky shard hey so what before we go in there yes what is it I wanted to thank you for getting me this far but after we get in there I'm going to go my own way for a while I think I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here I'm hoping you can show some more control than that once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back. Open the gate. All right, very well. Looks like they've seen you approach. Let's continue. Just making sure you all are following me. I don't want to walk up here into a trap and be completely caught off guard. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Hello, sir. Hey, I hear it. Lady Serrano's been gone a real long time. So she says. She doesn't even know what the Empire is. The way I hear it, Lady Serrano's been gone a real long time. All right. It's time for us to head inside. How dare you trespass here? What? Wait. Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Serana, is it true? It's truly you. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! No. I guess I'm expected. I guess you I are. Cyrus it. didn't come inside. That's not a good sign. I don't know if he's being kept out My by lords or... My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust he's just you smart have like that. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she has I'm the delighted scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. They're all vampires. I, I sense the darkness in them all. Her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? A savior. This is what? my savior, the one who freed me. I suppose I am I to approach. To, speak to you, stranger. Now. Very well. Walk always in the light. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Or we will Tell drag me, you into what it. What is your name? 
Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigilant has none to spare. I am Zaquan. Who are you? I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. You're vampires. She didn't need to tell me. I can sense it. I sense the darkness all around me. Not just vampires. Oh no, it's even worse. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. So what happens now? Do you kill me? Do you feast upon me? I'm clearly outnumbered. You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. Huh. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you what my the? blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Get this beast away from me. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! What is he doing? <sighs> Stendar! Stendar, help me! Stendar's mercy. What kind of creature is this? What are you? This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. The suffering that Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Stendar. I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. No. No, you don't. I'll destroy you. What happened? I feel like I'm drifting between dimensions. He cast me out of the castle as though I were nothing. Cyrus. I'm still here. You didn't even come in. You didn't even help me. I'm here to help. Ha! Huh. That's a joke if I ever heard one. All right, but you're forgiven. Forgive my quick temper. I've faced a, a horrible creature. Some sort of vampire lord. Never seen anything like it. I'm chilled to the very morrow of my being. I'm so shaken. I... Where are we supposed to go now? Huh. All right. Somehow I managed to write some notes down in between the banishment. I rejected Harkon's offer to be turned into a vampire. Now I need to return to Isran and tell him what I've learned. Let's go. Someone there? Oh no, what's going I'm on? Out of here. Ken! You're mine! Ah! 
vampires here. Burn! Burn before the power of Stendar! What? That aura, that power, that light. I had no idea. This was a horse. No. Oh, and now look who shows up. Hmm. After the vampires have been dispatched. Come on, we need to talk to Isran. Look, he's glowing like a star. I must learn that power. That enchantment. You humble me with your power. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. <laughs> yes, I'm laughing, so... I do that when I'm nervous, and... No, I don't have any good news. Damn. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Well, the vampires. First of all, let me just stop for a moment. Vigilant Tolan is dead. He rushed off to Dim Hollow. I chased after him the best I could. I thought I had saved him from the vampires. Only to find out that I was talking to a ghost. They destroyed him. So, the vampires there at Dim Hollow, they were looking for a woman who was trapped there. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Well, this is where the bad news starts. She's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you delivered her to them. I really didn't see that I had much choice. I suppose I could have tried to destroy her. But we still don't know what's afoot. And she also had an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll. Hmm. Huh. There were too many of them. And there was only one of me. So they have everything they wanted. And we're left with nothing. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Hmm. Well, tell me something I don't know. But we do have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. You don't look old. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Where can I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. And she'll help us. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. 
Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Very well. Do you have any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. Hmm. You actually could teach me about heavy armor. Can I get training from you? Well, at least you're smart enough to want to learn more. I'll show you what I can. Hmm, I have to level up first. All right. Can you tell me then, where did the Dawn Guard come from? Vampires need to be dealt with, hunted, rooted out, destroyed. Once there was a group dedicated to a similar cause. They called themselves the Dawn Guard. That was a long time ago, but the idea was and is a good one. That's why I'm bringing it back. Hmm. This latest attack proves it's the right time. And I have to ask, what do you have against the Vigilance? Isn't it obvious? They're soft. What? The lot of How them. dare you? Totally unprepared for any real threat. And yet I was the one ridiculed for trying to be ready for anything. Too extreme, they called me. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked out in their favor now, has it? Hmm. No, it hasn't. They're pretty much destroyed. But I hear that there are Dawn Guard. Not Dawn Guard, Vigilance. That wander. Skyrim like nomads. Plus, there's the Stendar's Beacon where there's a faction of them that still remain. All right. Tell me more about this castle, this village that you've built here. This is Fort Dongard, originally owned by the Jarl of Riften back in the Second Era. It was a bit of a black mark on the Hold's history. I'm trying to put it to good use. I see. All right. I need to pray, and then I'll come see you about my heavy armor training. Stay alert. I will. You as well. Let's get going. I'm just going over here. Stendar, strengthen me. Oh, I can't level up now, I thought. Huh. All right, we'll have to do the leveling some other time, then. But it's nice to know that you can help me with the heavy armor training. All right, let's see what we have on our map. Gunmar and Serene. Let's see if we can find them.
I need the chitin. Now that I have the recipe for cure disease, it's important that we start making as much of the potion as we can, especially since we're about to go up against vampires. Speaking of which, I should be infected, yes. Sanguinare Vampiris. Let's do something about that now. I'd almost forgotten. The last thing I needed was to wake up a vampire. Here we are. All right. The potion worked. Let's see. We still have some distance to go. Let's get back on our horses. Did you hear something? What? Someone's calling for help. Is this another one of those traps? It looks like it. What do these people think we are? Let's get our horses to safety and let's see what this is all about. This might even be the same location as before. Yeah, look at this. The same hood. Where are you? Cyrus. Listen, I know this is a trap, so let's go ahead. Thank you for rescuing me. They've taken everything from me, so I have nothing but my gratitude to give you. What? God smile on you. It wasn't a trap. Well, Stendar's mercy be upon you. All right, well. <laughs> All that worry for nothing. All right, come on. Serene. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I, I have swear I left it not. right here. Who was that gentleman back there? Hopefully not you a think villain. Think mudcrabs might have taken it. I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Just look around, will you? All right, but Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? Yes. No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Hmm. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Well... I think the situation has changed, Serene. Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. So, not one I'm of not your sure scenarios. What they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? No, I haven't been in any dwarven ruins lately. Uh, can I Until next look time. around and see if I can find them for you? 
Who are you, sir? You're not threatening. Serene, are you? first. She's the mouth of this operation. If she says you're okay, then we'll talk. Just All right, one whatever. Gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? Well, let's see. The water is down here. What's this? Aha, uh -huh, her satchel. Cyrus. Who are you again? Talk to B first. She's the mouth of this operation. All right. If she says you're okay, then we'll talk. If All this right. cold numbs my fingers any worse, I'll scarcely be able to hold a weapon. Are you? Yes. B? Tidings honored guest. My name is Beatrice. The raffish companion you see beside me goes by the name of Urzel. The timing of your visit is rather impeccable. Urza was just secured a fresh skeever which we hope to prepare at the top of the hour. We welcome you to join us in the consumption of this delectable feast. Well... You're eating rodents. I think I'll pass. Our guest seems disappointed in the menu. My deepest apologies, I had not anticipated such an outcome. Skeever steak is known to be the Valhignar for cooked meats, and their tails are a highly regarded delicacy in certain culinary circles. <laughs> Perhaps our guests okay. would prefer a beverage instead. Parched of throat or parched of mind, our drink will offer the remedy. Ah, uh, well... There's something odd about your diction. Not to mention you. As host to our most honored guest, I humbly apologize for my oratory failings. I am but an erstwhile savage, who only recently gained the powers of articulation. What's with the orc? Zub is a fine host, and it is by virtue of his hunting skill that we are blessed with his current feast. Unfortunately, he is far less loquacious than I, especially in the presence of new guests. However, our guests might find that after a bottle of refreshment and some time by the campfire, the words flow faster than the calf itself. Hmm. Well... While this sounds like fun and a, a very kind invitation, we do have some serious matters to attend to, so I'll have to bid you good day. Be sure to check the barrel by the camp. There's enough for everyone. All right. What is this barking? Wolves. Good enough. All right, Serene, I'm sorry. I'm just getting so caught up in all this stuff. Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. But I'm not just going to... So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs oh. stole, or I need another gyro from somewhere. Yes, here. That's what I wanted to tell to you. One, would you. I wanted to tell you I've found them. I have the dwarven Thank gyro. You. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Good. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? We're meeting at Fort Dawnguard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. All right, then. All right, then. Good day. Hmm. It's empty. Alright, so I'm not sure what's going on with these other people and... 
the barrels and all that stuff, but we really need to get on with the, the vampire menace. All right, let's go and find the other person. What can I do for you, friend? Look, there's a man hunched down over there. Is he injured? Oh, it looks like he's stalking his prey. You there. Mind yourself. Are you Gunmar? Fish bear on the loose. Okay. You there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help? <laughs> Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. All right, sounds fair enough. We've stopped. What is it? I suppose we're going bear hunting. Look. There in the distance. Satisfy your requirements. Watch yourself. This bear is vicious. Wasn't that the bear? I don't think that was the bear. is in the cave. There's two bears in here. Three bears. Good work. Surrounded. Good work. We did it. Gunmar. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dawnguard. And how did you know? If Isran is anything, he's stubborn. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Very well. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Let's 
time for us to get out of here as well. Oh, look. There have been some changes. They've put I'm up a, a gate and banners. They're getting serious about this. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. Beautiful light. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? What a vampire. You're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. Looking for me. Alright, I suppose we'll have to go and see what that's all about.